Hi everyone, I've just come to share with you another journal that I've completed. Um, absolutely adore this journal. Um, it will be listed uh, on my Etsy if anyone's interested. Um, this is made with a clasp envelope. Uh, it has one large chunky signature and all the details will be in my uh, the Etsy listing. It's got this lovely um, black lace trim which is absolutely adorable. This is a digital kit from Marion Smith. Um, I've used the Tim Holtz book plate on here. I've just noticed the little bling is just moved. I'll probably have to glossy accent that in. Um, <clears throat> it says, today, tomorrow, forever. It's got a eyelet and seam binding closure. So let's go inside. <clears throat> So it's got that kind of leather look, the full leather, which is um, just using the Distress Inks and Mod Podge. Um, there's many, I've used this in the past. Um, I've got a tutorial from about a year or so ago, but I'd used it um, on a, a hard cover with crinkled up paper, but there's so many people um, that have got some great tutorials on how they do theirs. Um, I've actually, it was, um, Narissa Bailey and Paula Lemon that's um, inspired me lately to be doing this technique again. So we've got two, I don't know if that's supposed to be in there, yes it is, uh, two index cards with some tabs, we've got um, some kit paper that I've backed onto a tag, so there's plenty of places to journal. There is a um, little envelope that I made for some of the scraps, so that's just popped in there like so. And we'll do a quick flip. There's lots of pockets and tags and stamping. And these, of course, flip up. Just a little envelope that you can tuck things inside. And little postcard here <clears throat> um, is just some coffee dyed paper and um, some writing paper that Crafty Irina had sent me. Um, it was in an actual um, like notebook and it was very very pretty. So I've still got loads of that and I've been using that. Um, here is a side pocket in there so I've just put an index card there, we've got a pocket there and it's opened at the back as well, there's no stamping on that. So that just goes in there like so. Some lined paper, <clears throat> a um, altered envelope which I've made into like a double uh, pocket tuck and large tag there. Love the coffee dyeing on that. That was actually at the top of the pile in the oven. And for some reason, sometimes, I think it's when the coffee's really, really hot, <clears throat> um, you get this really dark look. Oops, I keep knocking this camera. Um, this is a, one of these 8x5 um, index cards. So I've just done that as a journaling spot. There is a tag there. And this paper's just been backed onto um, the tag. My three pockets that I like doing. And these are just the smaller index cards which I've just cut down to fit inside. It's the middle of the signature and we've got two hearts. Again, there's more coffee dyed paper and this note paper, which is like so. And another index card in there, another envelope pocket that says just, just a note. <clears throat> Two tags in there, whoops, wobble again. I don't know how people can do this all the time, stand around these tripods, kills my back. <laughs> um, another two tags. <clears throat> it 
it says hello sunshine um, these have just been backed onto some cardstock and inked up and all these um, little corners do flip up some more of these and this is a Marion Smith long pocket so you can uh, tuck things inside there which I think I've probably glued it together um, oh there we go all done um, I have got a spare one of them so I'll pop that in I think I kind of glued that together uh, another tag another one of these index cards And that is the back. Um, the back is just like so. I think I showed you that already. And that's that one. Do love that. Love that colour. Um, like it with the brown and the you know this kind of bluey turquoise colour with the black. It's just I think it looks really nice. It you know it's dark colours but still very feminine. Um, like I said, this will be listed on my Etsy. Links will be below. Um, and if you've got any questions, just ask. Thanks for watching. Bye.